I want to declare over your life. Ezra chapter 6 and verse 14. It's time to receive now. The Bible says that they prospered through the prophesyings of Haggai the prophet and Zechariah the son of Edo. And they built and they finished it. The Bible says. And then Hosea chapter 12 and verse 13. The Bible says. And by a prophet the Lord brought Israel out of Egypt. And by a prophet they were preserved. Second Chronicles 20 and verse 20. Believe in the Lord thy God. So shall you be established. It says believe in his prophets. So shall ye prosper. Hallelujah. I want to declare over your life in numbers i believe chapter 23 when you read 19 to 20 when balak came to call um balaam to go and curse the people of god he said i have received commandment to bless and i have blessed and it cannot be reversed i want to declare over your life there is a sworn blessing that comes from the lord an irreversible blessing in the name of jesus i declare rise to a new dimension rise to a new dimension a new dimension in the spirit a new dimension in every aspect of your life i decree it in the name of jesus number two i declare for your shame receive double i say it again for your shame receive double for your shame receive double In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. I decree and declare. The Bible declares that God has not given you the spirit of fear. But of love, of power and of a sound mind. Every manifestation of fear in your life. I cause it right now. I cause fear. The fear of death. The fear of the past. The fear of the present. The fear of the future. The fear of men. In the name of Jesus Christ. Number three, I decree and declare, for as long as I am alive, I will keep praying this upon your life. The grace for favor. May that grace rest on you. Receive the grace for favor. In the name of Jesus Christ. Everyone who is holding something that should be given to you by God, I declare may God put it in their heart to release it to you. May my God put it in their heart to release it to you. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hear me. The Bible says, And thine ear shall hear a voice saying, This is the way. Walk in it when you turn to the left or to the right. Every confusion in your life. You have been praying for direction. This week, find supernatural direction. Find supernatural direction. Find supernatural direction. In the name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. Let me pray for every career person here. In the name that is above all names. The Bible declares that the path of the just is as a shining light. That shines more and more onto the perfect day. I decree and declare. Receive the spirit of excellence. Receive the spirit of excellence. After the order of Daniel. Go and excel. Every failing dying or dead business here hear the word of the lord i command that you jack back to life hear me if there is any plot of death already trailing your life or that of your children or that of your family members in the name of jesus i separate you from that spirit For the Bible declares that the Lord himself will keep you from every evil attack and that he will lead you safely to his heavenly kingdom. Therefore, I declare, you will never find yourself in an area that will leave you dead. You will never enter a car that will lead you dead. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Hallelujah. When Jesus was born, the spirit of the Antichrist walked through Pharaoh and through Herod. And he asked where the child was. The Bible says he intended to kill him. But then he had a vision and the angels told him, depart from here. 
and he departed and went down and stayed for two years until Pharaoh died and then he had another vision and he said they that seek the life of the child are dead I decree and declare every strategy God has designed for your safety may it be revealed to you may it be revealed to you in the name of Jesus now I understand I have declared over your finances but I know that the happenings around our nation especially for now is put people in a lot of financial pressure there are two people in the Bible who never go through famine the king and the prophet these two every time there is famine there is always a system of exemption the king and the prophet when there was famine in Samaria the king already had his abundance and then Elisha together with his band of prophets and he said I and the children that the Lord has given me he says we are for signs and for wonders in Israel therefore I declare by the power of the Holy Spirit I invoke upon your life the mystery of divine supplies may God use men as the raven that came to Elijah at Brook Cherith God will send men to feed you God will send men to see that you do not beg in the name of Jesus Christ let me pray over anyone who is in debt suffering financially personally or corporately in the name of Jesus by the power that raised Christ from the dead come out of that situation now and finally let me declare the grace that makes for honor upon you to be honored means to be perceived as touching your true worth and to be rewarded to match that level and Jabez was more honorable than his brethren but it was not always so he called him Jabez because the mother bore him in sorrow are we together but Jabez got to a point where he was angry and took destiny by himself and said oh that thou wouldest bless me that and enlarge my coast and that it shall be well with me and the Lord heard him I decree and declare upon your life may the grace for honor rest upon you may the grace for honor rest upon you may the grace for honor rest upon you that come much miracle service you will be many times better version of yourself in Jesus name I pray